In this short video, we are going to walk through which NABCEP certification or credential is right for you. It's a question we get all the time here at HeatSpring. And so to help everybody visualize the process a little bit better, we created this mind map. And here is our mind map where you can see all seven professional certifications, as well as the one PV associate credential. And that's where we're going to get started. The PVA is a great first step towards NABSEB certification. This is ideal for folks who are either wanting to break into the solar industry or are pretty new to the industry. And it demonstrates that the folks who have this credential have a solid understanding of solar PV. Folks can be eligible for this credential one of two ways. The first is that they've worked in the industry for at least six months or they have taken an official prep course designated by NAPSEP. All right, next we're going to dive into what I kind of think of as the top tier of NABSEP professional certifications, and I'll explain why in just a sec. So each of these three certifications have the more stringent requirements when you look at the other NABSEP professional certifications. So right now we're talking about the PV technical sales, the PV installation professional, and the new energy storage installation professional certification. They all require 58 hours of advanced training, as well as either OSHA 10 or OSHA 30, and documented experience in the field of the exam. So installation for installation professional certifications and sales for the sales certification. All right, and we are zooming back out now to look at the specialist certifications. Now we are looking at the design specialist, installation specialist, and commissioning and maintenance specialist certifications. And in my mind, I almost think of these as under the installation professional certification umbrella. And I think of it that way because each of these certification exams require just 24 hours of advanced training, so quite a bit less than the installation professional. They also each cover a different specialization area like design or installation or commissioning and maintenance, as opposed to the installation professional exam, which encompasses all of those areas. All of these specialist certifications do still require documented experience, and they are all considered NABSEP certifications. All right, zooming out to talk about our very last NABSEP certification, the PV System Inspector. And this is the simplest certification and exam to sit for, and that's because there are no prerequisites required to take this exam. You don't have to have any training, no OSHA, no documented experience. You could sign up today and sit for that exam immediately. And if you got the exam and passed it, you would be considered NABSEP certified with a system inspector certification. And this is intended to be mostly for city inspectors, municipal inspectors, different people who may not be directly in the solar industry, but work quite a bit with inspecting these types of systems. So Anybody can go for this particular NABSEP certification. All right, folks, that is how I think about all these different NABSEP certifications and how they fit sort of next to each other and around each other. If you have any questions at all about what NABSEP certification would be best for you, just hit us up. Our email is nabsep at heatspring.com and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks for tuning in.